Hello and welcome back to another Monster High video. I'm Carly and today we're taking a look at Laguna Blue from 13 Wishes. This is what you get when you open the box. Of course you get Laguna, but you also get a black doll stand, a matching hairbrush. You also get this really interesting fishbowl purse with her pet piranha, AKA Neptuna inside. She's just pink with these purple scales and she's got that big ol' eyeball. She's adorable, I love those little teeth in there. And she also comes with her own diary. This just looks like a regular basic diary that you would see from most characters. It's in the composition notebook form. There's nothing all that remarkable about it, but let's go ahead and take a look at the inside. And like always, feel free to pause and read whenever you want. So her diary starts out normally like they will. It's just, you know, regular everyday accounts of Laguna. And then after a while, you just go from that to when she gets turned into a freshwater fish. And then there's this gigantic shift in her personality. She like loses everything that makes her her. She like doesn't even pay attention to the date. I don't know what's going on with her, but I do not like this Laguna. She is all about Gil, all about being a freshwater monster, she's totally not herself. And if you go ahead and take a look at the about me section, she's actually changed pretty much all of her answers from her original diary. And she's just so bland and boring. And she even wants to put Neptuna to an obedience class. Come on, Laguna, this is not you. So here is a closer look at her hair and makeup. She has on this kind of aqua blue kind of greenish lip here. She's got a whole bunch of purple all over the lid on the lower lash line and a little bit of black there in the deep crease and her brows are purple this time around. For her hair, it is a very bright yellow with a little bit of this kind of turquoise shade in there and it's twisted in a high ponytail and it even has like this little fish fin kind of design here at the bottom, which I think is kind of nifty. Let's go ahead and move on to her accessories now. She has these goggles up top with this clear green plastic for her eyes. You also get to see a whole bunch of this like pond life over here. There's a dragonfly, weeds, flowers. There's little purple flowers up top. And she also has this purple water lily clip in her hair. Both of her earrings are these pink see-through dragonflies, which I think is actually really pretty. And she has on this little turtle necklace here, which I think is super cute. It's kind of clear and green. She has a matching bracelet down here. Let's get a closer look at her pet piranha and the little fishbowl purse, because I did gloss over this a little bit in the beginning. But up top, we just have this kind of bamboo handle, which is this blue color. And this thing is just a regular looking fishbowl. There's a little bit of these wave details there. And then here's a closer look at the pretty little piranha. I love Neptuna. This is actually my first Neptuna because I wasn't able to get my hands on the original Laguna. But that is her purse. As for her outfit, it's definitely a big change from regular Laguna, but you do kind of still see a little bit of her personality sticking through there. We do have an asymmetrical arm over here, which is kind of nice. And so she has this really pretty blue gauzy material with all these sparkles. That's what's here on her arm with a little bit of this black frilliness up here. But underneath, there is this beautifully patterned pink and purple dress. I think it's really beautiful. I actually really like the jagged cut here. And as for her shoes, they are super cute. They have a whole bunch of these freshwater pond reeds, which also make up the strap going across her toes. And then the platform looks like a little pond. It's actually really cute. Before wrapping up, let's take a quick second to look at Freshwater Laguna's freaky flaws. I've actually pulled in a regular Laguna. This is her from the Student Disembodied Council 5 pack. As you can tell, there's a lot of big changes. Instead of having her platinum blonde hair with its blue streaks, it's changed to this weird yellow color. Her skin is a lot bluer and there's actually some sheen to it. And even her fins are a different color. See, like on her arm, they used to be kind of a pale blue. Now they're like this vibrant blue. Got them here too. It's just really, really weird. Personally, I really prefer the regular Laguna in terms of aesthetics and personality. So yeah. The only thing that they really, you know, still have in common that hasn't changed all that much is their ear shape, which is this nice little fin. All right, and that's a wrap. Thank you so much for watching. And if you like my video on Laguna Blue from the 13 Wishes collection, make sure to let me know down in the comments below with a like or even by subscribing. Never forget to be yourself, be unique, and be a monster. 
Now you can watch another one of my Monster High videos or you can watch one of my other friends' videos. Our pictures are always in the corner like these four examples.